Hello everyone, this is COADB, or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're gonna to briefly talk about the Hernandez Coat of Arms. We're going to go over five examples. And before we get started, um, I am not a Spanish speaker, so unfortunately I'm going to butcher a lot of these uh, names and places. And for that, I apologize. Now the first one, among the many houses of Hernandez that existed in Old Castile, the one that took root in Yanguis in the district of Agrida and Soria is mentioned as one of the main branches of the family there. Its founder was Rodrigo Hernandez, called El Justador, who passed from La Rioja to Castilla with Carlos de Arellano, Lord of Camaros, and he married when he was 23. He served King Juan II of Castile, who reigned from 1406 until 1454 AD. Some of his descendants married in the town of Agrida, where they founded a house, estate, and chapel with tombs adorned with statues and marble coats of arms. Next, on April 4th, 1542, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, also called King Carlos I of Spain, granted privilege or a nobility and a coat of arms to Diego Hernandez, who was a citizen or resident of Araquipa, Peru. Now, the only person that I've been able to find so far who somewhat matches this description is Captain Diego Hernandez de la Cuba, a conquistador born near Avila, Spain around the year 1515. He was a conqueror in Peru, and he is described as living in Araquipa, Peru. He married Juana de Mercado de Penaloza and had three sons and three daughters with her. Next, a similar coat of arms was granted by the same emperor on June 8, 1538, to Gonzalo Hernandez who was the ruler of the town of Santo Espiritu in New Spain. The fourth, this coat of arms belonged to a family who was originally from Villanova, Portugal. A part of this family moved to Florida in 1768, to Mata Zas, Cuba in 1820, to Valencia, Venezuela, and to Charlotte, North Carolina. Another part of the family had been living in Cuba since the late 18th century. The family obtained title in 1816 when King Fernando VII of Spain created Don Santiago Hernandez Riva Dinara, captain of the cavalry militia, the Count of Villamar. He, so he was created the Count of Villamar by the King of Spain. And he was the great grandson of Don Florencio Hernandez Mitian, a native of La Laguna and originally from Portugal, who proved his noble descent in the city of Caracas, Venezuela on October 12, 1783. Next, we have a coat of arms that belonged to a family living in San Antonio de los Banos in Havana, Cuba. Now, these aren't all the coats of arms for the Hernandez name. There are many more. And to see them, please visit coadb.com, where we offer heraldic merchandise and images, as well as affordable ancestral and genealogical research services. Thank you.